Hey everyone, welcome to Unicorn Dust Designs. We are live. I'm going to set you up. You guys know how we roll here. Let me get you on the stand and then I will adjust you in just a moment. How is everybody doing today? I'm over here if you're just joining, sorry. Um, I hope you all are having an amazing weekend. Oh, let's mute that. Don't need that going on. Okay. That way I can see your guys' chat. There we go. All right, my friends. Let's see here. <laughs> wow. Can I say I'm crooked or am I crooked? <laughs> okay. Jeez Louise. All right, let's see. That is a lot better. Now, if I didn't have this light over here, but then I feel like the table wouldn't be as bright. Let's try these like that, maybe. That's not as bad. And you guys could still see the table. There is so much going on here. I should probably take some stuff off my table because there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But I need it all. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Nikki, Natty, April, Jade. For those of you just joining, this is a live video, so I will be chatting. This is not a usual DIY video. Um, we are streaming live on YouTube and Facebook, so there might be some things that um, I'm like conversing about, and you're like, what is that? It's probably going on on the other forum. So just don't want to confuse y'all. And uh, please make sure to exit the live and like the video, please, and sprinkle and share. Please, please, please. It helps a lot. And then if you are on YouTube and you want to help support my channel, there will be a link. I did not put it in my description box to buy me a coffee. Please do that instead of the super thanks because YouTube takes a percentage of that away from me. So I do not even get the full amount. And then for those of you on Facebook, if you would like to support and see more live content, then um, there is a little link to send stars. So, <sighs> all right. With all of that said, how are you? Hey, Lisa. I just packaged up your order yesterday. <clears throat> And Everett was so excited you bought his little nutcracker. Good morning, Amanda. I got my electrolytes. I went to the gym yesterday and it was a full body workout. And gosh, you guys, I'm a mess. I should really work on being more presentable <laughs> when I go live. But you know what? Then I'm going to stick all this tape over there and then it's going to get dog hair when Hank comes and swoops by. Folding clothes. Oh, we need to do a lot of that. Okay, so I think it's already nine o'clock. Hello. Hello, Jackie. Hi, Stephanie. Yolanda. And again, you guys, I might not catch everybody that comes in because I will be trying to actually DIY. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys though. So, I'm almost like, is my boob crooked or is the image crooked? You know, who knows? Should be. There we go. Um, so we, for those of you that don't know, we'll be vacuuming the house and mopping. I love it. We are Tiffany. Tiffany is Simply Blessed Crafts. Okay. Um, for those of you that don't know, I do have a vlog channel. I don't post on there very consistently, but we bought a new house in November and it's basically a total redo. And after we moved in, we realized there was just so much work to be done that we are most likely, we're going to flip the house. It was, we got quotes on adding on to the house and it was astronomical. And we really don't feel like if we added on, like we would get the value back from it. So we've decided to flip it. And, um, we paid to have somebody paint our cabinets because they were that really like the old school honey Oak. And we just did not have the time to strip them, scan them, prime them. Like we don't have that time in our day. So we did decide to 
pay for somebody to do it and they took our cabinets and then on Tuesday they're coming to like paint the rest. So I just wanted to show you guys just like, cause I'm all excited, some fun updates. So I don't know how well you'll see this in the picture, but we picked our colors. Like that's going to go throughout the house and the kitchen. So the, the middle one is alabaster and that is what our kitchen cabinets are going to be and all of our walls the succulent this green color that is going to be our island our bookshelves and then we're going to do the wainscoting in the dining room so it's going to be right there and then we have a little wall that we're going to panel and put hooks on for like the backpacks and coats so it's going to be accented throughout the house but it's not going to be like intense you know um hello pamela and welcome and then this accessible beige we're gonna go a little different it's a lot lighter oh uh, no i guess it's not we're gonna do that on all of our trim and we're gonna do it in on the doors um inside the house so like the front door all the hallway doors those will be in this accessible beige so that's what we decided to do. I'm a very like, um, I don't like painting all of the rooms a different color, especially now we have, um, we tore out the entire kitchen and dining room walls so that it's one um, room, it's open concept. So now I'm like, I just really wanna paint the house just one color. And that's what I did last time too. And I feel like it works if you're reselling a home, you know, then somebody could come in and kind of do what they want. So keep these colors in mind. I got, did I take that with me? Maybe I didn't. It's probably somewhere. So for the kitchen drawers, we decided, hi, Tiffany. I'm not crafting right this moment, but I will. I'm just excited about we are like, we finally picked out, you know, paints and finishes and all that stuff. So we're going to do the antique, um, I think this one was antique brush brass i think it is so i ordered these from amazon can i just say that going to like a pool like store pool and lock um they're so expensive we would have spent hundreds of dollars at that store we went on amazon and found it like the same thing and these were 10 for like 30 dollars. so these are going to go on the drawers so you could see how pretty that's going to look and then um I bought some other ones for like the doors. They just have not come in yet. <laughs> Lady Anne, I feel you, girl. I feel you. Um, so we got that and then we went to, we still need to, to look around, but we went to our first countertop store. Um, and we don't have that much counter space, but we have a huge island that we're going to need a slab for. So I wanted to show you the options. We got like a, a cheap, a middle, and then like a high priced one. And of course the high priced one is the one we love the best, but we need to like keep in mind we are flipping it. So hi Ruby. Welcome. I'm just, I'm just going over my kitchen right, right now because we're redoing it, but we will get into crafting. So the bottom, the lowest price one is going to be like your regular, hey, Lainey, like quartz with that little bit of, gosh, I don't know. It's hard to see. Like this is going to be that, you can't even see any of the sparkle, but this is the lowest priced one. And it is just, you kind of like that speckled with like the little, little, little bit of shimmer. And then the medium grade one was this quartz and it has more of a, gosh, you guys, sorry. You guys probably can't even, yeah, you could kind of see it. It has like a caramel, little bit of like cloudy vein in it. And it's more of a creamy color versus the stark white. And then this one, you guys, oh, it's so beautiful, but I need to remind myself it's not our forever home. Hi, Mary look at this oh my gosh do you see that with like the caramel kind of gold colors oh my gosh and this one's like more white oh 
It is so beautiful. And it would look so good with like the, where did I put it? I don't know. Look at how good that would look. With the antique brass. Oh, and then the wood floors. Oh, hey, Casey. Thank you so much, girl. Yeah, the fun of moving, Jenny. I definitely don't want to move. Again, I just have so and you know what? It's not like our house. Our house isn't the problem. It's our garage and then moving the craft room. That takes the longest amount of time when moving. And luckily, my parents came from California to help us. And uh, my dad packed my whole craft room. But with that being said, I didn't know where anything was. And there were some boxes where he literally just wrote, I don't know. <laughs> so there's that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I was like super excited about kind of just like getting the ball rolling because we had to wait so long for them to finish opening up that wall. Like a week project took over a month. Yeah, Jenny, so we moved to this house thinking that we would build onto it because it says it has four rooms, but one of them is down in the basement and it has like the electric panel down there. It is not a bedroom. And we knew that, but we thought maybe we could build on. And when we had a quote done, it was like over $120,000 to add on like another garage and then build two rooms above that. And we're just like, it's not worth it. Like we outgrew the house before we even got into it, but that's okay because I think we'll make a really good profit on it. We're in, we're on two and a half acres of land and the house after we're done is going to be beautiful. We did the same thing to our last home, but I really, the next home I want to be forever, not forever, but until the kids at least graduate high school. Hi, Bruna. Hey, Brie. <gasps> that's what I forgot, Brie. Thank you for popping in. I meant to bring all my new paints over. You guys, don't be jelly. Okay, don't be jelly right now. It's all right. You don't gotta be jealous of me. All right, I got some DIY paints, and I'm so excited with red lipstick. That looked really weird and creepy. Um. Yeah, so sorry if I'm not catching all of you. Welcome. Please make sure to share. So the person um, that won the coffee mug from Thursday is Erin Murray. I wasn't able to comment on her share, but I will find you. And I believe she was on Facebook. So I will find you somewhere in the comments and try to comment back. But Erin Murray. You won the coffee mug for sprinkling the content, the live last or this Thursday. So thank you so much. Kristen, yes, you can use this paint on wooden rounds. You could use them on anything. So I have used Farm Fresh on a wood round before. Uh, it was, it was a fall one. Um, I think we might have access to our wood now. So we will be doing more wood projects. I think uh, a wood project kind of video is coming on Tuesday. Okay, so we got some new paint colors. I got, what's this one? Far, a, big, a big one of Farm Fresh. Bree said that I think she sold out of the... Um, the sample size and the eight ounce of Farm Fresh, but I feel like tons of you love this color. So it's worth it for me to get the 32 ounce because it's such a, it's a color that can be used all year long and it looks beautiful literally with any season that comes our way. So, uh, thank you, Christy. Thank you, Kristen, for sprinkling. I also got, so a lot of these colors I don't have, I've never tried before. And I've been eyeing them and wanted to try. So I also got Sandy Blonde. The only thing that sucks with these, you guys can't see the colors, like the little sample ones. So I don't know why I'm showing it to you. Like you've 
like you can see. But so you guys know when like you order, this is the, the sample size. So there's these and then it goes to the 16 and then it goes to the 32. So these are like the size options. So this is great. Like these size, these size, these sizes are great when, you know, you're just starting and stuff like that. And then if you're finding you're using a lot, then, you know, up your size. So I got Sandy Blonde. I got Queen B. I, I don't know. I just needed this color. It's a beautiful, bright yellow, but like a dark, bright yellow. I don't know. You hear my memory upstairs. So, uh, Kim, on YouTube, you would just press the share button underneath the video and you can share it to your Facebook. You can share it um, to different groups, things like that. And I also got Gravel Road, which is a nice gray. The only prairie gray I've had in my stash is uh, the prairie gray. The only gray I've had is prairie gray, which I used a lot during Christmas time with the gold wax. Um, Farm Fresh is more of a blue, I believe, and Apothecary has more of the green tone. So let me, where's my Farm Fresh at? Hold on. Farm Fresh, where are you? I'm like, did I have my, did I already use it up? No, I just used it where, oh, here it is. Ah. Yeah, so Farm Fresh has more of, I believe, a blue color, and then Apothecary is going to be more of like your green. So this is Apothecary, and then Farm Fresh is over here. So Apothecary will be more of your green, and then Farm Fresh has more of a blue undertone. I do too. Farm Fresh, I told you guys in my video last night that like, I was to the end, I added a little bit of water to get it moving again and get all of like the clay from up on the lid. So if you guys have any that are on like, it's last life, just do that. So what did I just say? Queen bee, right? And then I got weathered wood. I've been seeing Jamie Ray and Zeb use weathered wood a lot. And I think it would be great for when, like how we were working on this, you guys, the sand wash, or sand wash, <laughs> salt wash piece. Like this would have looked really good if we're looking for like rusty or weathered wood. I think this is going to be so beautiful. Hi, Susan. Good morning, Pamela. I just put in my first order for DIY paints. I got the Queen Bee too. Awesome, Sandy. You're going to fall in love. You're going to fall in love. And then I got aviary. I have been wanting to try this green forever. Green is my favorite color. And so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited. I will just set all this here. And then, of course, I'm like, I don't think we're going to use any of those colors. For those of you joining us today, we will be finishing this salt wash project we started. So, I always have to get used to the angle of this. All right. Can we see all that texture that we got out of last week's so much? Like it feels rough and I like it. I think Farm Fresh is my favorite color right now too. Yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous. You guys, you can't go wrong with it. But I can't wait. Sandy Blonde too, I'm really excited about. I love me like a good, like neutral color. But we'll definitely be having fun with those. We need to get another rolling cart with all my DIY paints because right now they're just sitting on a ledge. Okay. Ooh. I'm looking for that old wood handle kitchen utensils. Hi, Mary Jo. Okay. First, though, you guys, I need to get something done. I have an amazing... Um, mineral. sorry, you like how I talk and then just like look away. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I have a lot of mineral. Oh. I have an amazing customer, Karen. And hey, Dee Dee. Good morning, Charlie. 
Um, I have an amazing customer, Karen, and she will literally, she loves birds and she will order anything really that I upcycle bird wise. And I had upcycled a long time ago, these alabaster birds in mineral and then white um, wax to make them look like a concrete bird. Um, that's so exciting, Tiffany. Um, good morning, Tina. Well, I sent her three of these birds she purchased for my website. I wrapped these, and I don't know if any of you have ever felt these alabaster birds, but they are solid. They are solid birds. I wrapped all three of them, and then I put them in a box, inside another box, with even more like paper and stuff like that, so we wouldn't have anything break. She gets it, and no joke, two out of the three, the tails were just broken clean off. And I was like, oh my gosh, like UPS had to have hammered that box to break those birds. So I was able to find another alabaster bird in my stash. I'm hoping this mineral color is what I use on them. Um, they don't look dark in the picture. So we're going to do this really quickly. And she was so sweet. She's like, I don't want money back. I, you know, I just wanted you to be, um, aware of this just so it doesn't happen to you or, you know, you have somebody that isn't as understanding and she was just the sweetest. So I would love to return the favor and at least get her a bird back. Now two of them broke, but these alabaster birds come in different um, positions. So some of them are like this way, some of them are that way. And then there's one that is like just looking forward. I only had one and then the other one I have was a repeat of what the one that didn't break. So I'm at least going to send her one and I find these all the time. So if I ever find the other one, then I will send her the other one. Hi, Ellen. No, um, Natty, she has the birds and literally the tails were like shattered off of them. So she couldn't, and then going through UPS, you know, you get insurance on this stuff, but then they're like, we want seven photos. They want to pick it up from the customer to examine the box. And it is just like such a chore that it's like, I'm sure a lot of people just like me, I was like, never mind, never mind. I'm not going to even go because I don't want her to have to deal with that too. Then she has to send me a bunch of pictures. She has to have them come pick up the box and you have to like leave it exactly how it came so that they can inspect how it was wrapped, how it was broken. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am not sweet. I don't mean it like that, but like she was the sweetheart because, you know, she could have been like, give me my money back, you know, these broke. And she was like, no, I don't need any of that. I just want you to be aware so that it doesn't happen to someone else. So this is the least I can do is get her another bird. I just, I just hope I used mineral on them. I'm thinking I did because look at how much that mineral looks like concrete. You know, elephant is too dark because I know I used Waverly on them and then steel is way too light of a gray. So yeah, that's probably why they make it so difficult, Christy. Christy said, yep. Yeah, I wouldn't, have, I'd be the same way. I'd forget it. Oh my gosh. I have gotten packages literally ran over. You can see the tire tracks on them. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It is. And you know what, you guys, on all of my hauls, even yesterday we went thrifting. I have a thing for glass and I can tell you right now, I'm going to be a professional glass wrapper because I tell myself every time we go in the thrift store, stay away from glass, stay away from glass. Like it's hard to ship and you don't know if it's going to get there. Okay. And what do I do? I literally buy half of the stuff in glass. Uh, Charlie said, I used to work at a post office processing plant and this is no joke. We were taught to stand and throw boxes into bins by zip codes. It was terrible. Oh my gosh. 
Uh, that just makes me so sad. Oh, Leanne, thank you. Thank you. You know, the UPS place that I go to is absolutely amazing. And the staff is amazing. Um, so I don't know what happened there. But um, Brie told me, because I told her what happened. And she was like, make sure you write glass on them. Because you could put, like, I put the fragile sticker and stuff. But she was like, make sure you write glass all over it. So it's another way of, you know, telling them what's in the box. So my mail lady, I've reported a few times. I have her cameras everywhere and we have watched her chug packages out the mail car. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Lisa is a master repairer. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I just hope it makes me uh, paranoid because there's somebody amazing. They bought both my glass coffee pot, the vintage glass coffee pot on my website, the glass vintage teapot and the glass spice rack. And I'm like, oh, this person is giving me a challenge because now I'm just paranoid. I am so paranoid about shipping, but then I still buy the glass stuff. I just think it's beautiful and a lot of it's unique. Okay, I need to dry you so I can hold you. Bye. <laughs> Jenny got a P.O. box. I like it. I have a bunch of packages to take to the post office tomorrow with the kiddos. They're still out of school until Tuesday for spring break. So we'll drop off all of our packages tomorrow. A lot of you will get your salt wash. Hey, Diane. Yes, Terry, I'm in Spring Hill. Spring Hill, Kansas. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah. <laughs> I need to work on a vacuum attachment for iPads so I can vacuum and watch. That would be amazing. That's crazy, Charlie. Christy, yeah, this is a placemat from, um, uh, what do you call that place? Hobby Lobby. I also have a piggy one somewhere too. And I like them because they wipe off very, very easy. Are you, Terry? Where are you from? Okay, at least it's good enough where I can at least fold it and then get like up under the wings and all that good stuff. All right, let's get your head. These alabaster birds, there have been two sitting at Savers for literally probably three weeks now. And they're priced at $5.49. And I won't do it. If they're two forty-nine, dollars because that's usually what I find them for at Savers, I literally will buy every single one that I see. But $5.49, I am not picking those up at all. Um, you're just down the road for me. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Do you love thrifting? Let's start thrifting. You'll just have to deal with a baby though, too. When we go thrifting. <laughs> All right. I think try to make sure that I got really good up under the feathers, even though we're going to add white wax to it. I just want to make sure that I don't leave a bunch of the white. Okay, we got this covered. And what's nice about the alabaster birds is they have that texture already on them. So they really do look like cement, which is great. Oh, Diane, those are some good colors. I really like, Diane said that she just got the Farm Fresh and Skeleton Key. From her local stockist. Let's dry this baby up. 
Now, people have said there are certain ways to clean the alabaster birds. Um, I have never actually followed those directions. I just clean them under the sink very quickly, but people say that they can like dissolve. It's never happened to me though, I promise. Hi, Lisa. Canute, is that how you pronounce it, Terry? Oh, good, Lisa. I'm so excited that you got your stuff. I'm still, Terry, we moved here. It's going to be seven years this year, and I still have to look everything up. I don't know where anything is in Kansas. I am always, <laughs> I always say map questing, map questing. I just want to make sure none of the paint in the feathers is wet because then I'm just going to smear it when we apply our she newt. She newt. Trying to see. And I know from the picture that I did kind of. I didn't put a lot on. I did the like kind of dry brushing of the white wax. I'm trying to make it look exactly like the ones that I sent her. Sammy, I picked up a wooden corner shelf yesterday. Beautiful. The top is pretty detailed, ornate. I'm trying to figure out if it would be easier to spray paint or brush. Um, I don't, for me, I feel like you're limited with spray paint colors. And then also I prefer my paint like in a matte finish. So that's going to limit your colors as well if that's what you like. And I always go way too heavy handed when it comes to spray paint. And I always get drips in my spray paint. So I would probably brush it. Um, are you planning on wanting to like distress it down or anything? Sorry, I need my protein. Mandy said, it's so crazy that you and Brie met and became friends. I had been watching the both of you and was like, these chicks have a lot in common and live fairly close. I love her. Good morning, Charla. Sorry, didn't I have time for breakfast. I'm eating a protein, like, uh, what do you call those? Pop-tart looking thing. Okay. Let's get our DIY wax out and our brush. What well, at least to say, missed you the other video this week because I've had my grandson. I can't wait. I'm trying to talk my parents. Um, hey, crafting cousins. I'm trying to talk my parents in coming at the end of June and then staying like three weeks. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to talk them into it. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll come July, 4th of July out here is really fun. And to be honest, I just miss them. Haven't seen them since, uh, July and we can't really like go down there yet. Um, just because we have three dogs and then, um, and Momo is 17 years old and she's just a lot of work and we can't ask somebody else to do. I mean, she's a lot. She has to take medicine. She needs to be walked out. And now she's at the point where she's losing full control over her back legs. So you have to kind of like hold her up because she still wants to go outside. She does not want to go in a diaper. So you have to like hold her up while she's like walking so she doesn't fall while she's squat. It's just, it's so sad. So anyways, we have to wait to travel until Momo's goes to heaven. Um, where did I get the, we have QTs out here, but they do sell them online. They are, what is this? They're called legendary foods. Um, this one's brown sugar, cinnamon, tasty pastry, 20 grams of protein. That's what it looks like. And they have like a strawberry one too. I like the strawberry one, I think more than the brown sugar one, but 
I get them at QT. All right, so now I'm just going to dry brush this. Make sure to get your bottom, because remember that's we're sealing the paint. And I am just doing like the flicking motion. I'm not trying to get it up under. I just want to give it a light coat so you can see. Just a little light coat to bring out the details. I'm really hoping this matches. If it doesn't match, she could always put them in different areas of her house. You know what I'm saying? Like one on a book stack, one by some florals or something like that so that it's not like, oh my gosh, <laughs> those birds sitting next to each other are two different grays. But we're trying, I'm almost positive this is. This is the grade that I used when I had made them because I wanted them to be like very concrete looking, not dark gray, getting up under those little, yeah. Mm -hmm. She just ordered some stuff on the website. So I was like, you know what? I am going to make her this so that I could send it in her next order um, to replace that bird. Luckily, I, you know, see, this is where I say some people might think we're hoarding, but what if I wouldn't have bought all those birds Then I would have had nothing to replace it with? <laughs> um, uh, I am getting ready to try my salt wash on a little table. Eee! Let me know how it goes, Lisa. I can't wait to try it on furniture. I cannot wait. I have this dresser right here. I told you guys about last time that I want to do because I definitely am not stripping that bad boy and salt wash is going to allow me to paint it and not have to do anything to it. So morning, Roberta. Good morning. Good morning. Is it Katana? Katana, welcome to the community, girl. You will love it here. Just so you know, I am streaming on both um, Facebook and YouTube. So there might be some conversation that you don't see that you're like, what is she talking about? And that might be me responding to somebody on the other forum. Okay, let me, I don't want to get a lot on the face right there. Let me get down in there. All right. Just making sure I got enough on here. She is a talking machine, my little Montgomery. All right, I think I got it coated pretty good. Again, if it doesn't match, I'm just, oh, I should have probably wiped this because what I'm doing is I'm getting a little bit of water lily on the bottom of this bird. That's okay. I can buff it out. All right. So this little birdie's done. So this is the alabaster bird. All we did was paint it in mineral by Waverly and then we dry brush. I don't want to say dry brush, but just brushed our white wax on. These are very, very easy flips. If you guys see these or if you guys ever want to resell, these birds are so great to paint and wax if you can find them at an affordable price. So I will probably let this set up overnight before I wrap it and ship it um, because I don't, it needs to cure. So I am going to now Okay, the salt wash is addictive. Okay, okay. I apologize for eating on camera, but we had a late start and I'm hungry. Mm. I like how I set the Pop-Tart on like my wax. That's okay, DIY wax is all natural. So I'm not eating any chemicals. We're all good. We're all good over here, you guys. I'm not going to die, I promise. 
Okay, so we'll go back to this piece. You guys, I don't have any idea what I'm actually doing to it. We're just having fun. I feel like salt wash is something that like you really just have to play around with. I should probably try wiping this mat off. Um, I think I want to do some salt wash on some DIYs coming up to create a wood look on this like um like you know those long votive holders I have one that I've had in my stash forever uh sorry I did not see the question Casey no so like I have a dresser that has been uh it was given to me and it literally looks like it has like three layers of latex paint on it and I don't have to prime it or prep it or sand it down. I'm just going to go straight over it with that salt wash. Wanda, you'll get addicted to the salt wash. Um, <laughs> Monique, no joke. Monique said the that Pop-Tart, which I love, probably has more chemicals in it, right? More chemicals than the uh, the wax. Well, the wax doesn't have any chemicals in it, actually. Hey, you talking up there. She's just going on. Okay. Let's clean off what we don't need. That'll help me out a lot. Let's put this paint over here. I'm going to grab all 57. Hmm. Now, like I said, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know how I'm doing this. Ugh. Okay. Now, Salt Wash, you guys, for those of you that did not join us on Thursday, Salt Wash is an additive. So, it's for like a layered sun and salt air look. It's going to create tons of texture, especially for those of you that love the like rusty old vintage look. You're going to love the salt wash. You can also do this with like to raise up stencils. You know how like some of us use plaster or um, caulking. You can also use salt wash to achieve that look on a stencil as well. And you, it can be used with any paint, any. And um, these actually, these cups, these are sold separately except for the salt wash kit. You get a cup that comes with it. And it'll tell you like milk paint, you need 14 ounces of milk paint, eight ounces of salt wash. Latex paint, 16 to 16. Chalk paint, 16 ounces to 12 ounces. Acrylic paint, so you could use it with all different, sorry, like it has the little measurements back here for you. But I am more of an eyeballer. I just add as much as I want for the thickness that I want. And it comes in the 42 ounce, a 10 ounce, and then we have the salt wash kit, which comes with a 10 ounce, two chippy brushes, paint stir stick, the paint um, cup, and a lookbook as well. Good morning, Terry. And those are available on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. So I am going to get old 57. I told you guys, I don't know what I'm doing here. But then I'm like, is old 57? Okay, this was, so we have this piece, right? We have this piece. You can see all, look at even on the back, that cracking. All right. You know what, you guys, we might take this a different direction. I'm going to ask your opinion because this is more like a Florida lease. It's more like French country. What? Oh, thank you, Chris, so much. I appreciate that. Um, Chris sent me a super sticker. Thank you so much. So because this is a Florida lease, my first thought was to put the brown salt wash on, then put patches of the turquoise salt wash and then like a white over it and then kind of like distress it down. So it almost looks like patina and then like wood. But 
now I'm like, should I just dry brush like a white or like a tan over it? Because now I'm just thinking like, is it too like regal to have all of those different colors? What do you guys think? You let me know. Should we just dry brush white? Because you can see like the cream color coming through. In here, we have the brown. And I'm just like, I don't know if we should just dry brush a more neutral color. So it almost looks like a chipped back wood piece. Or if we should do the like old 57 and then white and then like wipe it back. Do you, Mary Jo says do the colors. Come on, give me some, some comments. I need more. And then we can decide. Yes on color, colors, colors. Okay, everybody's saying color. All right, so let's do it. That's what's fun about pieces like this, especially I always say, start with inexpensive stuff. Like if you're doing, you know, salt wash for the first time, like Lisa said, she's starting on a smaller project. I think you said that. And then the, the table or the piece of furniture. And I feel like that's a wise choice just to kind of like get the hang of the texture, how much you like, how much you don't like on it. So I am going to take my salt wash. I'll probably just use the, is this like a, this is a one and a half inch brush. All right, we're just gonna do the color. I'm gonna pour. So this is like a bright turquoise. I don't think I need that much. I'm gonna go in very light with my salt wash to start off. You could always add more. You can never take it away. So go in with less, add more if you need to. So it's just like a, a powder, like a white powder. Again, I'm starting off really light with this. A little bit goes a very, very long way. All right, and then I'm just mixing it in my bowl. And it does, I've found that like as you're doing your project and it's sitting there, it thickens up even more. So keep that in mind. So right now, it's like, do you see how it's a little pasty? You could see those peaks coming up. That is a good texture. If you wanted even more texture, then go hard and add some more. I'm trying to think like, is it's adding texture. So I'm like, mm, it's very creamy. Do I want, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to close the lid so I don't go crazy because I like chippy, dirty stuff, but I don't want to go ham with it. All right. So you can see how thick, I don't know, like just on the what was I going to say? If I'm going to put a transfer on the top of my table, should I put the salt wash on the top? Uh, I You could, but it's probably going to look more distressed. Like the transfer itself is going to look more distressed than it is going to be like a solid image. So keep that in mind. All right. So again, I'm just looking to put this kind of like random places. We'll see. And again, so I don't know if you can see. I can't, I have no idea. The like little peaks. Now this is making me feel like, do I need more salt wash in there? Cause it's very, um, it's very creamy and I want it just like a, a little bit thicker. Like I want there to be a little bit more texture in that. I better watch out though, I see that. And then I'm gonna add like way too much. You are so welcome, Emily. So just kind of putting it randomly. 
I try to do random, but then I feel like I pay too much attention. <laughs> and then I start making it look like a spotted cow. So just kind of, and then we're gonna go into the top. So again, just kind of spotting it out because we're gonna put another color on top of this as well. And then I'm going to come in The only thing that sucks is like you need two hands to get this paint out because it is thick and it wants to cling to that. So you can see we're just doing just random spotting everywhere. One day I'm going to learn. I need to watch some more videos on how to get that authentic like rust look. And that would be so cool. I don't think on this piece necessarily though, the like rusted look, it just doesn't fit this piece whatsoever. But um, like in a future project on something, we should try that. So a salt wash to get the texture you wanna create peaks. And that would just, you would do that by just stippling. So like kind of pouncing your, your brush and it's gonna create these little ridges, like little mountains. And those you can brush back down. And that's all up to you as the creator though, because a lot of the times I don't brush the ridges down as they are drying because I want like full on texture. I want like it to be as rough as possible. So that's what's fun about these salt washes, like you can do so many different things. All right, I think I've made just enough, which makes me happy because then that means we're not gonna waste anything. Good morning, Shelly. If you guys can make sure to sprinkle, I so much appreciate it. Let's get under there, sprinkle, share. I feel like I need to get a little bit up under, I got under that one. I think maybe, there we go on that. And make sure like we did uh, on Thursday, where you, so like, remember on Thursday, for those of you that were on Thursdays, I had like that big chunk of the salt wash that was sitting here that like wasn't drying. Oh, cool. No, I'm like, okay. So I'm going to show you, it's right here. I hope the camera picks it up, how like crusty it ended up coming out. And that's like, that's what I love. So it's in this pocket right here. I wish, do you see right there? No, opposite side, right there. Like, it just looks so crusty. I love it. This is so my jam. So my jam. Come on. I feel like uh, Edward Scissorhands, you know, where she's all, darn this stuff. I love that movie, Edward Scissorhands. All right. Let's put that there. Try not to leave chunks because although I love chunky, then it won't dry for us to be able to finish this project. All right, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. And I just wanted to take a minute and thank you because I know a lot of you are on that have been ordering from the website and John and I just packaged up all the orders and that's the thrifted fine salt wash. We packaged it all up yesterday and I just want to thank you so much for supporting us. Um, it's definitely uh, not even we I started doing it a little bit before I got pregnant and then my pregnancy was so rough I had to stop selling on the website. So I started it up again because in all honesty, you guys, uh, Facebook 
isn't paying the bills anymore. Facebook for the longest time, this, this is going to be, I think my third year, um, has been paying the bills, has been really, uh, consistent, um, at least like I knew the minimum I was going to make if it was like a super slow month. And now they're talking about um, recession and how people aren't really paying to put ads in videos. And if they are, it's um, we're getting paid as creators lower values to have them played. So I literally went from making a specific average to going at least $2,000 under that average, which isn't even covering our mortgage anymore. So I've had to find new ways to, to pay the bills. <laughs> so that is why we started selling again and thrifting for profit. And I'm doing the live to try to get monetized on Facebook. So I just thank you guys a lot for shopping the website, for shopping the salt wash, and for also being on my lives, watching my videos. Um, it means a lot to my family and I. Good morning, Shelly. Yeah, it's pretty bad, Lisa. It's, it's never been like this since I started. It's been fairly consistent for me. And um, yeah, after Christmas, it like really hit. And it's just, it's been hard. So now I'm adding more to my plate and getting paid less money. <laughs> but we got to do what we got to do for our families, right? So you could already see um, DIY paints dry down to be a little lighter. And this is drying down already, and I love it. That's an also another reason I love DIY paints. Like, you know they're dry when they're not dark anymore. So I'm like, okay, that's fully, fully dry. I can move on from that. This kind of like, ah, no, it's too patchy. It was like, this kind of looks cool, just these colors, but it looks a little too patchy. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, we appreciate it. Both of the Lisas, thank you. Not that you guys want to come on here on a Sunday and hear my like sob story, but just wanted to say why I appreciate y'all so much. Kristen, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Kristen said, have you have you thought about joining one of those Facebook crafting events? I'm not sure what that is. I kind of went thicker on the bottom, so that's why I'm focusing my heat gun down here. And I did turn this really hot. Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate you guys so very much. I'll do what I can to stay on here. I definitely don't want to go back to serving and bartending. I uh, definitely don't want to do that. So that's why if you guys have a Facebook, please hop onto the Facebook and watch the live there because I'm trying to get monetized on my lives. Um, you guys, to get monetized on Facebook lives, you need 600,000 minutes. And I think that's that was what, 10,000 hours or something? It was, it's crazy. That's why I'm trying to go live like at least two times a week so that I can get those minutes it sure is Elaine Elaine said one person's junk is another one's treasure hey Debra thanks for joining us Oh, I'll have to look that up, Kristen. I've never heard of that. But then again, I'm newer to the, like, the Facebook scene. Like, I just started posting on Facebook. Oh, no worries, Tiffany. Don't even worry about it. You guys are supporting me by watching me. I mean... That's how on YouTube I get, you know, paid on ads and then 
on Facebook, trying to get monetized. So it all, it all adds up, you know? The oh, these things? Yeah, so when I film my videos, my phone goes above me and um, holds the camera. Somebody is not happy upstairs. It's nap time. Hey, Lindsay. No, girl, I just painted um, an alabaster bird, and now we are on to our project. Oh, touch the paint. That's right. Yeah, get crusty. All right, now I'll start kind of moving up here. A lot of it's going to be drying, and then we'll move on to the next one. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Tanya. Yes, I am. Um, I got this Lord Elise statue from some thrift store, not sure. And um, hello, Sadie. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I cannot pronounce it, but it ends in 40. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Um, we're taking this Lord Elise. And on Thursday's live, I salt washed it with truffle by Waverly. And now I'm coming in with some more salt wash um, from this one. The paint color is Old 57 by DIY Paints. And we are just going, we're trying to achieve a colorful weathered look. I'm going to go over it with either crinoline or a white color on top of all this stuff. And then we are going to wet distress it back. Thank you, Elizabeth. So we're just chatting right now because I'm trying to get the salt wash to dry down so that we can brush on over it. Isn't that beautiful? Lindsay, I was telling people I can't wait to like watch more videos on how to get the rusted look with this. They come with these, uh, you can purchase these lookbooks separately. The kit comes with it, but like I look at this lookbook and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it'll tell you how to kind of achieve the look. Oh, maybe I should just look at this. I said, I need to watch more videos. It says rust technique using salt wash. And it'll tell you these lookbooks if you um, purchase. It'll tell you how to achieve different looks. So these come with the kit. Um, you can salt wash fabric. And it tells you how. Very nice. Easy weathered wood look. And look at how pretty this one. So I'm like, I can't wait to get like super crafty with this stuff. Oh, I like it. I like it. Good morning, Kathy. All right. This is the only thing about doing salt wash on a live is that trying to get it to dry down because you don't want those peaks to be wet or else they're going to go flat once you start playing around with your wet distressing and stuff. So really need to get that good and dry before you move on to your next step. What time is it? I'm like, hi, Twilight. said that michelle yes definitely girl i have them in stock i would definitely say go for the the kit but i don't think a lot of um i have people just buy the 10 ounce one um so they probably don't need like the chippy brush and stuff but i just think it's worth it because you get the cup you get paint brushes you get you know what i'm saying you get all of the materials you need Yes, Deborah, it will hold up. You just have to use the right clear coat. So usually if things are going outside, you need something meant for outdoors. Like my wood rounds, I usually put a water-based um, 
bar urethane that is meant for water, uh, humidity, UV rays, and things like that. So you just need to find the right clear coat to use on outside um, items. So Jackie, the book only comes with a kit, but you can buy it separately. So I think they're a dollar fifty, um, separately. Yeah, yeah. And then the like ten ounce I send with a little pamphlet, and it gives you measurements and then just kind of like the basics of doing the salt wash. So just a very basic like step by step that comes with the other sizes as well. <laughs> Lisa, are you going to paint over the floor to lease is looking so cool. Yes. So I'm going to paint over this either with crinoline or white swan. The original color of this was more like a creamy color. So that's why I was thinking crinoline, but I think a bright white would look really cool. And then we'll kind of go over it with a wet rag to kind of bring the turquoise and that brown back through. I just need this salt wash to dry. It's still soft. I'm trying to like hit specific spots. I think the baby, did the baby just go down there? Kind of. Hello, Linda. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Shanda. Oh my gosh, girl, it's been so long, I feel like. Has it, or am I, am I going crazy? That's still soft. I'm going to lose all my peaks over here. Like, I'm that person that I'm like, is it dry? Let me just stick my finger in it. Oh, yeah. See, I love where I put that salt wash super heavy in the brown. Ugh. I love how chunky it is. We're going to have so much fun with this salt wash because I've been watching so many videos on just, you know, what we can do with it. I can't wait. I want to try on those ginormous bookends. I want to try and recreate some of the corbels that I found at uh, Habitat for Humanity. I want to try to re recreate that on the corbels. Oh, no problem. Thanks for visiting. I appreciate it. It is 10.08 a.m., Sherry. Hi, Sue. In New York. Susan, I despise New York shipping. It is so crazy. California and New York are probably like the highest out. And where else was it? Seattle? I don't know. Sometimes I get orders and I'm like, oh, oh. and I got an order from Alaska the other day. And I was like, oh, my word. Yes, Kelly. Once it starts getting nice out here, I'm going to take that dresser out. And I'm going to, hi, Susan, I'm going to whitewash it. I have a dresser, and then I have a uh, bookshelf. The only thing with the bigger pieces now is I'm not keeping my booth open any longer after July. So I guess I'm going to have to try selling on Facebook Marketplace, which I don't enjoy doing. There's just so many scammers and stuff like that. But I need a way of selling to people local that can pick it up. Because I, I'm sure I can figure out how to ship that stuff, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I feel like 
see, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. And of course, my camera is probably, hello, Mother of Dragons. Um, okay, so I just like these balls. Okay, so I don't know if you're going to get this on here, but like, okay, it's good. you guys are going to laugh because it's little, but okay, you probably can't see it, but it's just like a a ball of salt wash. You guys can't see it. I know. Um, where else is there like a piece? I don't know. It's just like, you know, balls of like the wax that like are, are sitting up on like, can you see that? No, Ugh. I wish my camera was better, but there's just so much texture and it stays there. Like it's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna dry down and like flatten out. All of that texture is there to stay. And even, let me tell you, I've taken my sander, my orbital sander to this stuff and it still keeps its form. It is insane. Like, can you see you guys anymore? I'm like, can I reach through the screen? I just want you guys to be able to see all of the texture that is on this, even with like that. And then here, I think you guys can see it now that now that the, that really crusty section in there, do you see that really crusty section? Okay. <sighs> I'm either going to like mess this up. Okay. Do you think we should do stark white? So white swan. So, which is like a really white, white. Sandy Blonde is way too tan. Uh, I have Tarnished Pearl. That's more like a gray. What's this one? What's this? Oh, that's Liquid Patina. We don't want to put that on there. So, these are the options, you guys. So, we have... Yay, Dee. Thank you so much, Girly. I appreciate you ordering that with me. So we have Tarnished Pearl, we have Crinoline, and then we have White Swan. So these are the differences here. So Crinoline, which is at the end, is going to have more of like a cream color. And then we have White Swan, which is going to be like more your pure white. And then we have Tarnished Pearl, which is is more of like a gray, very light gray. It looks like a lot of you guys are saying white swan. So you're not technically supposed to dip in your DIY paints, okay? Because then you could contaminate them. Um, but I do, so don't do as I do. Um, girl. All right. Also. Well, I have it here. We were talking about, so only, I'm only doing it once a week, but like the little giveaway for sharing. So somebody already won this one. Would you guys mind, not scraps, but like if I were to send like two sheets of like paint inlays as like a like little giveaway or something, or is that like, no, I don't want two sheets of paint inlays. You know what I'm saying? Like, would that, would that be a cool option or would you guys be like, why are you sending me random papers? White Swan. Ah, oh, you guys. Now a lot of you guys are saying the white, the, the um, tarnished pearl. Oh no. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I actually had time. Husband to, uh, uh, my husband took over with the baby and I came down and I put red lipstick on. I used to put like bright lips on every time I went to work and I don't go outside to work. Oh my gosh. A lot of you guys are saying tarnished pearl. Maybe we could do both. Okay. All right, you guys, anything that you give away will be appreciated. Okay, cool. Because I'm like, obviously like I want to use my paint and lace, but they come with some of them, like the floral ones come with a lot of sheets. And they are meant so that you can like stack them together, but I don't have a piece that big I, I need to use it on. So it's like, it would be a great way for you guys to like try things out, you know? Okay, so we'll do, I'm gonna do both. Why not? 
we're already having fun with this. All right, I need to put some Vaseline. It just makes me think of the song, the gasoline. Oh, you, you're getting chunky, aren't ya? Let me shake you up. And again, if your paints, your DIY paints are getting a little chunky or something, add just a little bit of water, just like you would with like Waverly paints to loosen that paint up. It won't like do anything negative to your paint. You don't want to like pour water in there. Just put just a little bit. Good morning, Darlene. Okay. There's still the nice little clump in there, but like all of this stuff, do you guys see the clump in there? Um, if you guys have ever seen Painted Photographer, she actually gets like that clay, the chunk of clay, and she'll like put it, she'll kind of like push it into like wood around the edges so that it looks like texture. She utilizes like every part of the paint. And I think it is so cool. If you guys haven't checked out Painted Photographer, check her out. The Stone Temple Pilots song. Jenny, I don't know. I don't know. My husband always cracks up because he is like a music buff and he'll be like, who sings this? And I'm like, hot green chili peppers or something. And he'll be like, oh my gosh. Like, no. I think you shouldn't worry about what you give away. Use whatever you have to spare. Most crafters I watch give away napkin bundles. Ooh, I have a lot of napkins too. <laughs> no problem, Jackie. Okay. Mm. I'm probably going to wipe this back. So I'll go in with Tarnished Pearl first. And that is going to be that gray color. Yeah, I'm going to like kind of tap it in the lid. And then I'm tapping a lot of it off because I, I don't know. Mm. Kind of like I don't know what I want to do with this. This is like really, really light. <clears throat> so you know what I'll do? I'll pounce this one. on and then we'll go over it and dry brush. So I'm going over the turquoise, the brown, everything. And you can see like the texture already like just popping through just through that. You can see all the raised texture. I really don't want it to look patchy. So we'll we'll do this and then, like I said, I think majority of it is going to be white. And then I wanted to wet distress it back. So I'm just going to stipple this on, get like a good coverage. And then we'll go over with the white. Hi, Leanne. No worries, girl. You can, um, for YouTube, there should be a share button right underneath the video. And then you would just share it to like your Facebook or um, anywhere you want. All right, going to get up here. Yes, copper. You know what? That's a great idea. Maybe I could do that. I have my alchemy waxes that we can use on there. So I'm just like going messy with it, you guys. I'm not, I'm not trying to get cray cray. I think Montgomery is napping and we are a crafting. And I don't have to get it every single where. Thank you, Fran. Dollar Tree has those little containers, so sample salt wash as a winning. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, Jenny. I should. I think I hear a dog outside. I wonder how. I obviously haven't used Tarnished Pearl very much. I need to see how this looks on like a regular piece.
trying to get all the access, excess access. Oh yeah, the chunkies. The chunkiness, I love it. This is either going to turn out really good or I'm going to blame you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Jenny said the blue color would be great for a, is it verdigris? I, oh, did I put that all in my hair? Probably. I was watching one guy, but his video was so long. I couldn't do it. I need fast. I need fast videos because I don't get much time to like sit down and watch them that I'm like, I, I couldn't sit through it. All right. Donna, no, you're not. I am streaming on YouTube and I am streaming on Facebook. So unfortunately, you can only see the comments that are on Facebook and YouTube can only see the comments that are on YouTube. So I am trying, if somebody's asking like a question or something, I try to read it. And sorry, I'll get in a better habit of like, if I'm responding to anything to just read what I'm responding to. All right, we're almost done with the top. Ooh, this does look good as it's drying down. This looks really nice. I'm like, eh, I'll just hold you right there. Yes, Kelly, good idea. I definitely think putting a little bit of copper on here is gonna be pretty. Okay. I think that's good and coated. And then we will dry this down and then I'll give you a close up look of it. This one isn't gonna take as long to dry because I did not put any salt wash in it. So I got a little. Still have to work after this and make a video for Tuesday. Uh, Shelly, you just got to jump in it, girl. Uh, I did mine. I got laid off at the time on my serving job because of uh, COVID. And I started getting like super passionate about Dollar Tree stuff. And my first video was a Dollar Tree haul. I do, I did everything from my phone and um, I definitely don't regret it. It's fun, it's a great outlet to be creative. You find a lot of people in the creative community that are awesome. Lindsay, this will be for sale and thank you for saying that because I still need to post the water lily one. Verda gray, okay, verda gray, thank you. Shelly, of course it's intimidating, girl. You're in front of like thousands and thousands of people, but if you love it and you want to create, then I say do it because you'll find your you'll find your tribe. You'll find those people. Thank you, Wanda. Like I'm not, I say it all the time, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's shot of whiskey. And Y'all are my people. And it's so fun to be able to like do this for people that you know enjoy it. You know, and the same thing for the lives. Like I love getting on here and talking to you guys about thrifting and like the paints and stuff because you guys have a passion for it like I do. And that is so cool. Okay. I remember your dollar store days. <laughs> I get reminded of them every day in my closet <laughs> in that Thing. And not that Dollar Tree is bad at all. I mean, seriously, they have some amazing things. Um, I've just found that it's less time consuming to do a thrift flip versus 
Dollar Tree crafts where you have to like get several pieces to build one item where I could just get this and make it beautiful for the same price. Yeah, I don't have a camera. I still use my phone to this day. Okay, I'm going to get a bigger brush here. We're going to go into White Swan. Now this one, I don't know if I should pounce it too. Because the thing is, I want more coverage. Because I'm going to wipe this back, you guys. So just trust the process. You guys are like, oh my gosh, you guys, you're covering all of that. Just trust it. Just trust the process. <laughs> For those of you that buy my salt wash kits, I write that on a lot of the cards. Like, just trust the process. Sometimes it looks like it's not turning out right or whatever. And you just have to, like, go with it. And you'll figure out ways to, to make it work. You guys see all the time that I mess up on my crafts. And then I just take a minute. I reflect. And then I, I figure out a way to make it work and look beautiful in the end. And sometimes it comes out way better than I thought it was going to. Not to change the subject, but I just came upstairs to check on the molds I used last night as I got a new pack of clay. Turns out it isn't clay. It's air-dried porcelain. What is that? I've never, I've never even heard of that. Uh, Michelle said that she's also been wanting to, to start a channel and she's recorded some things. She just hasn't taken the next step. She did open a booth a couple weeks ago. Congratulations, Michelle. That's amazing. That is a big step. And you guys can start like smaller too. Like if you're not quite ready to like get on a YouTube channel or something like that, start with like reels, shorts, things like that. Like some people blow up with their shorts on YouTube, reels and everything like that on um, Facebook and Instagram are huge right now, TikTok. So, you know, you there's other ways of, of jumping in without having to go full-blown, you know, videos. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, Simply Blessed Craft says she started her YouTube channel in March. And it amazes me of how quick I got out of Dollar Tree items. I do use it still, just not as much. Yeah, definitely. Well, and too, the, I mean, uh, I feel like the the thrift flipping, thrift flips and stuff like that are come uh, becoming a lot more common. So you're seeing a lot more people do it and seeing what they do with it, um, which is really cool. And then it excites you, and then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to go thrifting. I need to get this. I need to get stamps. Trust me, I'm I watch videos just like you guys, and that's how I got into the DIY paints and the stamps. Cause I was like, Oh my gosh, I need that. Look at how cool she's making that look. I really want the, um, uh, what do you call it? The kindest, is it kindest regard stamp from IOD The you know, the, the scripted one where it looks like a handwritten letter. I want that one so bad. That's definitely going to be my next my next go-to. Uh, I really want that one. I've been seeing a lot of people use it to like layer things or like as backgrounds, you know, and I'm like, Ooh, I can see that on a couple pieces. Right, Shelly? It's so beautiful. And it is like a really great um, background for so many things. Again, you guys, I love that like crusty piece right there. Okay, I'm liking the way this is looking. And again, we'll we'll wipe it back to reveal, or maybe we won't. I don't know. Because like you can still see all of those colors. So maybe we won't wipe it back and then we'll just put some. I don't know, you guys could tell me. Oh, love it. I live in Georgia and feel like the thrift stores suck. 
Girl, it's so funny because Brie was just here yesterday dropping off paints and we were talking, you know, just as like business owners, I was like, how much do you spend, you know, a week in thrifting? And she told me, and I was like, I am literally spending double that. And she was like, what? Why? And I go, do you watch my thrift hauls? Like the prices that I have to pay out here are double or triple what Brie finds in Topeka. So it's just crazy because it all depends on the location because, you know, my average of uh, finding a piece is like $4.99 and hers is way lower, like one to $3. So it's really crazy. All right. Now that's pretty dry. I need to like hold this down so I can get the rest of it. Okay, that side's done, so it's just I need to finish this top piece. It is the lazy Susan that won't stop moving. Okay, so let's dry this down and then we'll see if we want to wet distress it or if we should just leave it like this and then add some of like the copper or whatever to it. Debbie, that's funny that uh, Debbie asked how's the remodeling going. In the beginning of this live, I showed everybody like our paint colors, the cabinet door pools, and like countertops and stuff like that. So definitely check out the, the beginning. Yeah, Jackie, it's insane. like I always watch, obviously, Jamie Ray and her thrift store prices are out of this world. Well, so are Breeze. Like, they always find things for, like, a dollar. Like, for example, they thrifted a bunch of frames, and they were, like, a dollar, two dollars. At Savers, the least expensive one is, like, $4.99. It's insane. And I'm like, why? Why? They're picture frames. All the thrift stores in Louisiana have gone up in pricing. I'm in Lower Alabama, and we just don't have a lot of thrift stores. Uh, Shelly Tina, the admin and my friend that's always on here, she lives in Alabama, too. And she only has, I think, like one thrift store. Mm. Pamela said she wants to see me wipe it back. Okay. Um, I cannot wait for garage sales. Oh, my gosh, Kelly. Our garage sales out here are so good are so so good so i can't wait especially because like i feel like that'll be an opportunity to stock up on hauls for inexpensive and now i have a place to put the stuff in my shed even though my husband's like you already filled the shed up good morning denise Drying this down. Ugh, I love all this texture. You can see like a little bit of the gray coming through. The white, you can see all the colors. I've only been to one estate sale and I feel like we have them pretty often out here. I need to like get out of my comfort zone and go to them. Trying to make sure that this is very dry before I get a wet cloth and start wiping this back. Do not want to smear all of this paint.
forgot about my pop tart. I'll just listen. I'll just read your guys' stuff. I won't even step foot in a Goodwill, Betty, because same thing here. The lowest ticket is $5.99 usually. And then it goes up and I'm like, there is no way I'm paying that. Here I go touching it to see if it's dry. <laughs> I definitely know that it's not dry when I could still feel it's cold. All right, we're almost dry here. And you can clear your salt wash items with waxes or you can clear it with like a clear mat by Rust-Oleum. Um, so it doesn't need like a particular clear coat. You can use whatever you have. And trust me, this salt wash, like the texture ain't going nowhere. Like if you like rub a paintbrush on it or something like that. Okay, I know I've got a rod down here. Hey. Don't sniff my paints. Where did my rag go? Babe, did I leave a white rag up there? Hey, no, get away from my pop tart. Like just like a rag, maybe I, I did it, I don't know. Will you wet it and then wring it out for me? Or like dampen it, I don't know. Hey, my pop tart. He's over here trying to like lick the bag. Roberta, my junk shopping buddies are usually my husband and my nine month old. My kids go with us too and they do like their little picks, but they're not like, hey, we're going thrifting. They're like, how long are we going to be here? Thank you, babe. Yeah, that's good. All right, you can go now, Hank. Well, thank you. Oh, you're not getting any of my pop tart. You can hang around people like you, but and then he gets it. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh. It's either gonna come together or it's not. So we'll start at the bottom because then okay, so I got a damp, wet like uh cloth. See this. I kid you not, you guys, there is a difference in DIY paints and Waverly paints because the Waverly paint smears. And I had to, I didn't have the weathered, um, I didn't have the weathered DIY paint yet. So I used truffle and like as I'm wiping it back, the truffle is like smearing. You see how it's like darkening up the white paint? It's smearing onto the rest of it, but you can see where the DIY paints are. Like, do you see like the white and the turquoise right there? Right there. There's like no smear of that turquoise paint or anything. It's coming off super clean, but that brown is smearing all over the white and it's okay. I mean, we're going for like a crusty rusty look, but um, it's not what I would prefer you know, but with that brown by Waverly, yeah, that's what we're going to get. So, and I'm trying to wipe it back, but all it's doing is brightening up that brown. So let me try like dabbing it. Yeah, all it's doing is smearing it even more. I wonder if I should just get a sanding block. But it's all right. It's all right because it's supposed to be grungy. 
So you can see as I'm wiping it back, all of the, I'm trying to see like all that texture coming through. And you can see all the colors. You can even see like the gray in there as well. And you'll get a little different look if you choose to sand it, which I do like to do. Um, but this one with all the detail, I think it's going to be easier just to do this wet distressing. And then we'll probably just put patches of copper in here. Yeah, there's definitely a difference in using Waverly and using, and I'm not, you guys, obviously I don't sell the paint, so I'm not trying to like upsell DIY paints or anything like that because I don't sell it myself. It's just, uh, there. there's definitely a difference. There is most definitely a difference. So this is how our base is looking after being wiped down. Ugh, like, wish I could get closer to you guys. So you get all of those beautiful colors and the texture coming through. And now we are gonna start, let me get this guy. Oh yeah, see that turquoise? And then we're going to do this. Lisa, neither was I. <laughs> Lisa said, wow, wasn't it, it expecting this gorgeous outcome? I'm like, neither was I. Hey, Rebecca. Yes, Rebecca, those are the alabaster birds. The ones that I painted in the beginning of the live are the alabaster birds. Um, okay, and thank you so much for that compliment. All right. I feel like I need to take this off. And you know what's awesome about this? It has the rubber on the bottom, so it actually sticks to the table. All right, this is going to be a lot better. So let's got to rub down hard if we want those layers. But look at what that brown paint is doing. It's making me so mad. See how it's smearing all of that brown? And I know it'll come together. I'm just being a brat because... It's just not what I wanted, but I had to have known that was going to happen because every time I've tried to layer with it, that's what happens. Even when you like try to wipe it back, it doesn't, it still just smears. So we're getting all of that. We're getting brown. We're getting the white. We're getting that turquoise to come back out. I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm not looking at the screen, I'm concentrating. Yeah, that looks pretty. I'm trying to make sure I get these spots. Uh, Deborah, that's where I get mine from. I get my, my DIY paints from Upcycle by Brie. I'm trying really hard to be able to sell them myself, but we'll see how that goes. Um, you can also go on to DIY's website and you can look up if you have like somebody local that sells them, um, like at a booth or something like that. You might be able to find somebody local you can go to. How are we looking? That I haven't done the, the side that looks super white yet, but. Get a, I'm trying to, I'm using a lot of pressure here because I want all of the layers we put on to show. Make sure I get these side pieces too. Oh, that's looking pretty. Yep. See, it's like you just got to trust the process because we didn't know where this was going when we started this. I just thought, you know what? Let's have fun with it. Let's all be here <laughs> and try it together and look at how fun this is turning out. 
And this is like, it's also fun with salt wash because you can have fun layering all of these different colors together to achieve, you know, just a fun look. Like you're not gonna get this with just layering regular paint on top of each other. Oh. And you can see I am rubbing super, super hard on this. And it is not like taking off any of that salt wash. It is not like breaking down the salt wash or flattening it out. Like it is all there in its glory. You know, the smeared brown, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's making it look like more uh, dingy and old. So I'll accept it for now, Waverly. I will accept it for now. Oh, did I wipe back too much on that part? No, that's good. Like, look at how like this part right here, I'll show you a close up, looks so much like just different layers have chipped off. You know? Good, Diane. Then you don't have to pay for shipping, right? Bye, Kelly. Thought I heard the baby. I need to make sure I don't forget to get up here so those pieces aren't stark white. And I love how we did it like spotty. Like we put the paints in different sections so when you're wiping back you're not getting i'm not just wiping back and getting all turquoise or all brown like it's all going to be different since we decided to put those colors in different spots all right let's get this top part I like this. It's mostly like the turquoise. Ooh, that looking pretty, you guys. So this is our... I wonder if I should wipe back this a little bit more. All right. That's the one side. So you can see that's pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. So we'll do the opposite side. What time are we at? Jeez, we're already going on two hours. I really want to finish. Kim, the alabaster is what the birds are made of. This bird that I redid for uh, my customer, Karen. These birdies, those are made of alabaster. They were like, what do you do if I say home accents or something? They were sold at like home parties, home decor parties back in the day i'm like holding this i'm like i'm gonna break this thing right off of its stand so i think we said that this was a hobby lobby piece that was like 30 dollars. then they had it um on clearance for eight dollars and i bought it for five dollars and we've completely changed the look of it now. I'm, like, I'm probably gonna get this paint all over. Obviously, I needed that. I needed that turquoise to come through. And I am pressing hard. And like I said, like even getting the uh, like a sander on this stuff, it does not go like the ridges and like all of the peaks and stuff, you could sand and it'll take off the colors, but you're still gonna have so much of that texture sitting there. Linda, thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you. The things you can do. My son-in-law is from Louisiana and I wish I could find a Florida lease like this. I think that's what they're called. Yes, Rebecca. That, at least that's what I'm calling this one. I feel like it's a Florida lease too. I, I asked all of you guys on. Thursday if we think it's a Florida lease, and I think so. I find, like this one, I find, I feel like too, if you go thrifting, there are certain stores that carry like different decor. Like this stuff right here, 
I've been finding at turnstiles a lot. Um, uh, Cause I found this and I found some other bigger like pieces like this there. And then I feel there's this blessings of a bound place. You'll hear Brie talk about it. Cause she comes over to my neck of the woods oh, and thrifts my stores. Just kidding. Um, but you'll find like copper and kind of like higher end thrifted things. So I feel like you're going to find different like decor styles at different thrift stores. Jenny got some home interior birds that she painted. Very pleased with how they came out. Yes. And post them, Jenny, to the Facebook page. I have a Facebook group. Or, well, I've been following you on um, YouTube, too. If you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and put what it is so um, my subs can go check you out and if they like you then subscribe okay we're on we're looking good this is looking really cool all right bye girly have a good one all right we're almost done all right let's get this it's a stress down do you guys even think it needs the copper now? Or should we just leave it the way it is? I'm going to have a good arm workout after this. That's for sure. All right, bye Jackie, thanks for coming on. Thank you for always sharing too. All right. All right, I think it's beautiful. All right, you guys, we're done distressing it. Let's clean this off. tile back there on this um no copper okay majority of you are saying no copper so we're gonna leave it um but this is how she turned out i love it simply blessed crafts tiffany she has a channel so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to clear wax it and then we will be done. So let's get the clear wax out. And like I said, you can also, I could take this outside and just spray it with clear matte by rust -Oleum too. And it's not going to change it. You know what? I might do that. Just because then it's going to take me like another 30 minutes just to coat this with wax. And you're going to get... I'm just like, do I want to coat it with clear or do I want to spray it? I mean, there's not really a difference. You're clearing it either way. Just one's easier over the other. You'll still get the same look using either product. All right. I'm going to take this outside and clear mat it. So I won't keep you guys on to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this live. Hello, Gail. Good morning. And... Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the recreation of the salt wash. Remember, we have um, all different sizes of salt wash available on the website. We have, oh, I don't know, 42 ounce. You got your 10 ounce, your baby one. And then we have the salt wash kits, which come with this, a lookbook, a stir stick, a measuring cup. Um, so you get, and two chippy brushes. So you get a little bit of everything in there and they are ready to ship. So, 
Um, those are on my website, unicorndeskdesigns.com. And I always enjoy you guys on here. I always enjoy chatting with you. If you can please share, sprinkle, like, comment, it truly helps um, me out here. And then if you are on Facebook, watching my lives is helping me get monetized. So I appreciate it very, very much. Lindsay, I will take a picture right after this and then I'll, I'll clear it. Um, and then I will post it on my website for purchase. Thank you guys for being here and always rooting for me and supporting me. I always appreciate you. Um, we'll have hopefully a new video on Tuesday. I still have to get it done. Haven't even started. And then we'll do thrift haul on Thursday at 6 p.m. Live that night at 9 p.m. So um, I look forward to seeing you all. Have an amazing day with your friends and your family. And I will see a lot of you soon. Bye, you guys.